Okay, now we are trying to anesthetize this Roboroski hamster to check carefully. So, first of all, we put him in a container. This 18 month old Roboroski male. And uh, he's still quite active according to the owner, but slow down. So, we check the teeth and the lower part. Okay, the gas in. Now, normally, if we put 5% and a high flow rate, it should be quite fast. Quite fast, about probably less than 5 minutes. Huh? Now it's 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. And uh, it's a closed circuit. Closed circuit oxygen generator. We are using oxygen generator, which does away with the cylinder, oxygen cylinder. We have a standby oxygen cylinder here, just in case. Is somebody coming? No. Okay, now it's still under anesthesia. So once down, actually we should put more, more tissue so that, so that it will be uh, faster due to less, less uh, dead space. We call it now. Dead space. Can we pick up first? Huh? That dead space. And then once it's down, you can see it's almost down. Ready? Come. We put him onto, the, onto, onto here and then we clip him first. We clip, we clip the... Come, we clip, clip the hair first, yeah. Quick, quick, out. Way first, no, put the zero first. At, at the same time, you clip first, huh? Doesn't matter even if you... Okay, 18 grams, 18 grams, come. We clip because it's very short only. Okay, you can okay. see. There, all this hair above his uh, backside, you no. Know. Okay, put, put, put back in. Quickly put back in again because this is a very short acting. Yeah. Don't, don't hold like that, just scoop him in. Uh. That's the danger of holding the robot ski and then the fellow jumps off. Yeah. Okay, it's about one minute of gas and then quickly shave. Really. 18 grams, okay. Okay, uh, can read. This is. This is this is uh, gotta be very careful. Just shave quickly the pet. Just see whether there's any infection or not. Okay, put put it in first. Yeah. So the battery ran out or something. Okay, you can shave him inside here. It's okay, but as long as we don't need to jump off the table, we should be disastrous. Yeah. Shave as much as you can the whole. The whole body, yeah. okay. Then back to gas again. Scoop it in again. Scoop. Oh, you can see the whole ventral area is inflamed. Owner was suspecting a tumor, but uh, we don't know yet. Yeah. Once shaved, then we will check whether abscess or tumor in the back area, and also express the inner sac. Although hamsters have a very uh, small inner sac, so. Very unlikely to have inner seculitis, but, but uh, we, we never know. Okay, ready? Okay, that's it, that's it, yeah. We, we don't want to take, um, take, take chances, yeah. Yeah, that's good, that's good. A bit faster than that, yeah. Faster than that, faster than that. Yeah. Just, just zoom up. Yeah. We don't need to be bored. No, just, just uh, uh that's the that can. Uh, that's it. That's it. Correct that. Uh, as much as as you can. Then ventrally, ventrally the lower part. Try not to block my camera. Yeah. Okay, up, upside down, upside down, upside down. We need the lower part. Correct, correct. Okay, check the, check, check the inner sac already. Yeah, just express it. I did with the hand or something. Enough already, enough already. Express the inner sac there. The tail, just like in the dog. Ah, oh, 
correct express it. Anything? I pull up the tail here. Correct. Is this something? Some parts, it looks like there's a lump there. Nothing. Eh? There's an inner area. Okay, check the testicle. Is it swollen? No. The same size? Okay, there's inflammation definitely below. Eh? Okay, open the mouth. There's a forcep. Do we have a forcep? Open, check the teeth. Is it overgrown? No, it looks okay. Okay. So you can see that there's a scab here. There. We have to clean up here. Remove the scab here. Hmm, scab here. Use a forceps to peel off the scab. There's a scab there. Ah, just clean up first. Yeah. Use a forcep. Forcep. But a bit harder, the rock a bit harder, yeah. So let's see. Up and down. Clean the lower part. Because we hurry a bit, it's gonna wake up really. Try not to anesthetize too too many times, yeah. So I can see it's uh, ventral dermatitis starting from the back side yeah. the other end the other side so yeah. so in in essence that we are giving a bath now I'm going to give a small steroid injection and uh, that, that that will uh, bring down the inflammation there's some bacterial infection as well check the ears if we uh, get some ear drops and put some drops onto the ears. Okay, let me recover first. Yeah. See, it's quite down. Down. So I try and go and see who is outside. Yeah. Come. Put ear drops. Two or three. I drop the ears. Yeah. Just massage it. Yeah. Quickly, then it's going to wake up. Really. Just as fast as that. Yeah. All finished by 10 minutes. Okay. Come, let me just check the overall. Yeah. So as you can see, there's a ventral dermatitis, there's no more hair. So that's why the hamster is itchy. Now the problem starts from here, so we really got to clean up here. Yeah, clean up the Clean up the infection. Mm. It's gonna get up soon. The scabs. Yeah. I will give oral steroid, but through the through the foot is better. Yeah. Rather than than through the injection because because it's such a small. I'm still here, pulling off the scabs. Any more scabs? How we got it? So the diagnosis is still ventral dermatosis, uh, dermatitis, ventral dermatitis, and with the starting from the back area, there's no uh, tumor or abscess. Okay, put him back inside his boxes. How about the top? Any, any skin disease? Let him recover first. Yeah. Uh, put inside his boxes. With his carrier. The owner, the lady owner, loves him very much. And uh, suspected some tumors. Yeah. Okay, finish. 18 months old. Ventral dermatitis and backside. In inflammation. Now, whether it is due to What's the reason? Nobody knows. But one of the causes is the the bedding. Okay, finish. Come.